uh, in today's session we can discuss uh, something related to cache so why do we need a cache what are the different parameters we need to think about when we want to you know uh, design a cache right so why do we need a cache first of all right the question is why do we need a cache so let's say like i have a legacy application where my i have a uh, ui and my service running in one application in one server okay and i have a database running on another like i have a database running on another server so whenever my ui wants something like it goes and asks the service and our service need to go to database right and the database respond back with the data and service respond back to my ui so there's a lot of things going between the ui service and dba right so what actually happen if there is too many of requests going to dba dba will take you know some time to respond you back right so first you need to write and then you need to read so too many things going here right so there is obviously there is going to be a latency in your application okay application going to uh, perform you know uh, the performance uh, get hit when there's too many of too much of traffic to your application uh, right so in that scenario okay the best um one of the best way to improve the performance one of the best way to reduce the latency in your application to get a good latency for your application is by adding a cache okay so cache you can have no uh, inbuilt memory cache or you can have a distributor cache today in market we have too many too much of distributor cache available like like redis memcache so we have many things like i cache cached right we have many things in market today so so normally what we do like uh, uh, when we load application we use the inbuilt cache you know what we do is like we once we get a response from the database right we built a, you know we built a cache let's say in the java world we build everything in the hash map and we load that hash map in the memory and you know so whenever the service want to get a data first it will check in the cache if it is not available in the cache then it will go to dba right but a drawback on this is like your ram cannot you know there is always a limitation for your ram like it cannot go beyond some level right like you need to keep increasing the size of the ram and which will impact you know the performance of your server right the server there, there is always a limitation to increase the ram so in that case you know you can always go with um the um, distributor cache okay so on top of on top of the distributor cache on, on top of you no know, inbuilt cache you can also have the distributor cache okay so it's a combination of these two you can use to improve the performance okay so now let's see like uh, how so what are the different things you need to think about when you know uh, you, you want to add a cache right so the first of all like you need to think about how much memory you want okay what what's the size of your data right so based upon that okay you need to see so what's the original size and what is you know at which rate the size can grow do we need to handle all those data okay in so depending on that maybe you need to go into you know scaling right either the horizontal scaling or the vertical scaling right horizontal scaling is like um vertical scaling is like you know adding more ram and improving the performance in cache right or um horizontal scaling is like adding you know more copies right more uh, uh, more cache right more server distributed cache and pass you know data to each of these right and when you go for a vertical caching okay vertical uh, ca scaling okay you may so in some case you know you need to think about you know um for let's say like what happens like let's say like i have a more um so i have a data in this cache okay so let's say what happen if this goes down okay so it's again the service need to go to database and it's again going to impact the performance right in that case okay there's a strategy called a master slave architecture where okay um we have a master okay which always have the data and we have a slave which take it's it's a kind of a replicator a replication okay it it, it always you know copy the data from the master so in case the master goes down 
the slave will you know take the ownership so the request goes to the slave and so still you know the performance it's the the entire ob objective here is keep keep the same performance right like there is no downtime for your performance so that is one thing which we need to see like the from the size perspective you need to see what is the size of your cache how you know um, what is the frequency of uh, data to grow in your cache if you really need to handle all those data then how you want to scale your cache like a vertical or horizontal and so if it is horizontal like how you going to make it as a high available right so you need to think about all this perspective or maintaining a cache for having a good latency in your application okay the next one is um the eviction strategy it's like when you want to throw your data out like i have your data in my cache do i need to keep it throughout my life cycle or can i you know evict a particular data after some time right so whenever let's say in the redis whenever i store your data there's a parameter say called tdl okay so time so you you can set a time um to say like till what time this data can be available in your cache okay that's all this depends upon the business requirement you can set that okay. so um so there are different uh types of eviction strategy like is recently used which means like whatever you know it's not used for long time and, and less is less used data so you can you know evict them or at least frequently used and uh, first in first out so these are different types of eviction strategies so yes you always need to think about eviction eviction strategy because you cannot uh, have you know uh, 10 gp of data in your cache okay cache it's to improve the latency not to hold too many of data and, you know yeah. again you know uh, doing too much support for a cache is not a good way of designing the application so always think of also whenever so whenever you have a cache in your application think about a ev eviction strategy okay and the other one is access pattern so access pattern means when you want to store your data in the cache right let's say like the service is going to request for your data in the cache and if it is missing do we need to write in the cache as first or we need to write in a database at first and when read we take it to cache or we need to write in both cache and dba you know when there is a niche so each one has its pros and cons okay let's say like i want to uh, write in the database first and uh, when reading like i can cache it and then take it from the cache in that case like there should be a latency when i write right so if i write in the cache first and you know then i go and save it in the dba then there's another latency right so so there is a pros and cons in each approach but you need to you need to choose you need to trade off between these parameters and choose one of this approach okay so when discussing about the goals okay there are three things latency consistency and availability so latency we cannot sacrifice right because the entire objective of having cache itself it's a latency so we can we should be always having a very good latency right the second one is consistency okay before going to consistency let's think about availability let's say okay i am going to sacrifice my availability and if the cache is not available the service is going to get data from dba which will impact the latency so if latency is critical availability is also going to be critical right so we cannot sacrifice these two point right so consistency maybe we can you know sacrifice by fine tuning it like let's consider about the eventual eventually consistent right like uh, um at your application going to be consistent at some point but not right away when you have a data right so that's a eventual consistent so that is doable in most of the time okay so um, you need to think about like which one is critical for your application and you need to you know fine tune your code and your architecture accordingly so um hope you all got this points like when you design a cache you need to think about a size you need to think about a um eviction strategy and also you need to think about the pattern like when you want to write to a cache and you know, keeping in mind okay the goals like latency consistency and availability okay. i hope uh, you are clear with you know how to design a cache 
um, if you like this video please hit on the like button thank you bye